Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and today I like to talk about the adjectives and their corresponding comparative and superlative. And sometimes adjectives don't change like we expected. And maybe you saw it already in my mini stories of my course. To see my entire course uh, for beginners and how I use mini stories to teach you German, just click on the first link in the description. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at a regular adjective, such as schnell, which means fast or quick. But as always, let's look at an example sentence. Ich bin so schnell wie du. I am as fast as you. Just briefly about the colors in the image. Sein is an irregular verb and that's why the red background. And the subject in the sentence is green and therefore in the nominative case. You can find more about these topics in my other videos. But back to our adjectives. What is the comparative of schnell? And the comparative is schneller. We simply add a ER to the adjective. And here is an example sentence as well. Ich bin schneller als du. I am faster than you. Many people think that the comparative is formed with mehr, mehr schnell, more fast. But please note that in German the word mehr is not used for any adjectives and simply ER is added. So now let's uh, take a look at the superlative. The superlative is am schnellsten, the fastest. Before our adjective we have the little word am. And the ending now is sten. And here's an example as well. Ich bin am schnellsten. I am the fastest. Okay. And many other regular adjectives do the same thing, like for example, klein, which means small or little, kleiner, smaller, and am kleinsten, the smallest. Here another example, langsam, slow, langsamer, slower, and am langsamsten, the slowest. Yeah, and as always, there are irregular adjectives, such as jung, young. In the original form, everything is still okay. So we say, ich bin so jung wie du. I am as young as you. But that changes for the comparative. The comparative is jünger. Uh, it means younger. So besides the er, at the end, we have an umlaut. So those are the little dots. No? We have here u umlaut. And that's why our sentence here is Ich bin jünger als du. I am younger than you. So please always remember that we add an umlaut to, the mo to most of the one syllable adjectives with a, o or u. Yeah, and that is why the superlative is as follows. Am jüngsten. And again with umlaut. Ich bin am jüngsten. I am the youngest. And here are two more examples of irregular adjectives. For example, alt, old. Älter and am ältesten. So, old, elder, the eldest. Another example, groß, größer, am größten, big, bigger, the biggest. But, like always, it gets even better, because there are still super irregular verb, uh, adjectives, such as the adjective gut, good. In the original form, everything is still okay. Ich bin so gut wie du. I am as good as you. 
but that changes. That changes quite a lot in the comparative. The comparative is besser. Better. And quite a change like in English. And that's why our example sentence is Ich bin besser als du. I'm better than you. And the superlative is am besten. The best. And here our sentence is Ich bin am besten. I am the best. And again two more examples. Na, näher, am nächsten. Close, closer, the closest. Hoch, höher, am höchsten. High, higher, the highest. Yeah, and these are our adjectives and their comparative and superlative forms. Please remember that we don't not use the word mehr and that there are regular and irregular adjectives. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you don't miss anything. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to activate the bell. I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and thank you very much for watching my video.